What is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Back to Back Battles. Today, we got the Gengar Whimsica team with Como, Tapabulu, Incineroar, and Terrakion. Let's get started and play some games. So, this team putting in some work in the last episode. And let's see if we, it is going to be able to put in some work in this episode as well. I really do enjoy the Gengar Whimsica Terrakion. It's always been a thing, but the new domination right now is currently the Gengar and Cinnaroar, Tapabulu and Como. Although I still have a huge place in my heart for Terrakion as we find our first game. A 1660 rated player from Japan as our first opponent with the team of Blaziken, Milotic, Garchomp, which is interesting. No Landorus. Uh, Tapu Lele, Gastrodon, and Salsteela. Huh. So I'm trying to think, what do I want to sweep with? Because that's usually the question I want to ask. Do I want to go that sweep mode? Because it might not be effective. But in this game, it's definitely effective. I do like uh, sweeping here with my uh, combination. My opponent doesn't have good switch into wood hammer. If I can knock out the Blaziken, I'm in a pretty good shape. And I could easily Z move on pretty much everything. Uh, the thing I have to worry about is the top of Lele. I do like Whimsicott Gengar as the lead once again. Getting Tailwind up in case it's a Scarf Lele is really crucial. And I like Tapu Bulu. My last Pokemon. Rakion is okay in this matchup. Although I like I like Como because of the fact I can hit the Celsius with Flamethrower. And even though I don't think Heavy Slam knocks out Terrakion, if it's like a random flash cannon and I know Terrakion might take some damage, I'd rather have Como as the backup plan. It can also knock out Garchomp pretty efficiently as well. So I think I'm gonna go with those four. Cinnaro is not that great in this matchup. Uh Although it can help with the South Seal, I guess that is fair. I think I can ease, get a better time in with my Como though. Because Incineroar doesn't really like my Lodic, doesn't really like Blaziken with superpower. Uh, Lele, sort of. It depends on its moveset. Garchomp doesn't appreciate and Gastron doesn't appreciate. So Como is definitely better. So we'll see how this goes here. As the plan is to take care of the Lele as fast as possible. I feel like Gamer of Lele is absolutely huge here. And if I can get rid of the Blaziken, that also really works well. Because if I get rid of Blaziken, that monster is a threat. Garchomp, my Lodic lead. Huh. Interesting lead. Gengar Whimsicott. I wonder if it has Poison Jab on the uh, Garchomp. Could be Stomping Tantrum, which is why my opponent decided to lead this, but... I don't want to risk Poison Jab, otherwise I would go into Bulu and uh, go, uh, and I would protect Mega Gengar. I think I want to Tailwind up. And protect Gengar. Because I do want to lock these Pokemon in, because one, Como could probably easily set up on them, although I don't know the Milotic set. Uh, I don't want my Como to take something like an Icy Wind or Dragon Tail right off the bat. So I do want to see if I can get that free switch into Bulu. If you do have Poison Jab or if you're able to knock out Women's God with like an Ice Beam Rock Slide combination potentially. We'll find out here as we will Mega our Gengar. As let's see what is going to come out from my opponent. Protect. And Tailwind. The only thing about beat up is it's strange when you don't actually bring the Terrakion. Stomping Tantrum gonna go out into the Gengar and a Icy Wind. So, could have brought in Bulu potentially, although the Garchomp could still be carrying Poison Jab. Which is definitely a thing. I do want to go for an Encore, I think, into the Garchomp slot. Yeah, I'll go for an Encore into the Garchomp slot, and I think I'll bring in my Bulu here. Or I could Encore disable the Milotic. Which is also not a bad play. I could also Encore disable the Garchomp because it's not doing anything. But the problem is with that is if it's a Z move. So what do I want here? I could probably easily set up my Como if I decide to just Encore disable the Milotic right here. Which is really tempting. Because I think Bulu plus uh, uh, my um, my Bulu can do a lot of work here. So I'm going to Encore Disable to my Lodic here. Don't care if you knock out my Gengar because of the fact that I do have the ability set up. So let's see here. Disable. 
So Milotic is unable to move. Garchomp's gonna go for a Stomping Tantrum. Hopefully it knocks out. If it doesn't, I'm in an awkward spot, I think. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'll lose Gengar right here, which isn't too big of a deal. As I'll get my Como in. And Z-Move. I can also sub up here. I don't have to Z-Move right away. But I don't see a reason not to Z-Move. And just get in my Bulu, I think. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. So I'll just Z-Move right here. I guess the problem is if it's a combination of Celesteela plus my uh, my opponent's uh, Lele in the back. Although, really, I think all I have to do is uh, get rid of the... I had to get rid of Lele. That's all I need to do with Bulu. And Bulu's going to live one attack from the uh, Celesteela anyway. So I get multiple chances to Woodhammer. My Lele is going to retreat here. So Garchomp probably staying in. It looks like Lele is going to come out. Unfortunately, it is fast. It looks like um, the Psychic Terrain will come out. However, not really too big of a deal because Woodhammer and a Flamethrower would still be able to knock out the Garchomp regardless. So, Z-Move here. Knock out the Garchomp. Alright, we knock out the Garchomp. I forgot about the Z-Move uh, copyright thing. I guess the only problem with this is you get to bring in my Lodic again. Yeah, you get to bring in my Lodic again. And now I have to figure out what kind of moveset your my Lodic is. Maybe I shouldn't have sacked my Gengar early because it was a good check against Lele. Milota gonna come out. I think I could Woodhammer though the Milotic and get a Woodhammer should be able to knock out. I would assume. Milotic doesn't have the best defense in the world, and I'm gonna sub up with Como. It covers Lele protecting, maybe Milotic going for an icy wind here. Because you might expect me to target down your Lele since Lele is the biggest threat here, as Lele does protect, which is excellent for me because I confirm it's not Scarf and I'm gonna be able to get a sub up. Oh, double protect. Okay, that works too. That definitely works too. So I'm going to be able to get a free sub with Como. And now I threaten the Lele and I can Flamethrower plus Woodhammer that slot. Yeah, Tailwind Peter's out. Stalling out the last turn of Tailwind. However, I do threaten the Lele with a Flamethrower plus Woodhammer combination now. And I could always switch on my top of Bulu to get back my Como in. Well, to get back to grassy terrain. So, no switch outs from the Lele, which is pretty good as Woodhammer going to come out in the Lele. Almost picks up the knockout. Ooh, so close. But Flamethrower will be able to finish off the game for the Lele. So, what is going to be to my Lodix move? The only move I'm really worried about is Haze, potentially. But the thing I don't think you have Haze is because of the fact, if you had Haze, right? Why would you have it on a Blaziken team? It doesn't really make much sense. Icy Winds does a decent amount of Bulu, but Como is able to take it just fine. Uh, Blaziken probably coming in here. And all I have to do is get rid of Blaziken so my Bulu can win the game now. So I'll just uh, go for my Clang Scales and I'll sack Whimsicott here. Yep. Although I wonder Blaze. No, I don't. Can you afford to attack with Blaziken? Can you afford to protect with Blaziken here is my question. Although I don't think I knock out Blaziken, which is the thing. If... <sighs> so a bit of tricky endgame because of the back psychic turns up, so I can't Encore to Blaziken into Protect, or I can't Encore to my Lodic into, pr into Protect. Uh, one of them is Protecting for sure, I just don't know who it is. If it's a Milotic, or it's going to be the Blaziken. Because I do outspeed Blaziken with my Como, except I don't think I knock out the Blaziken, which is the... Sad part, I do a lot of damage to Como, but I tend to miss knockouts a lot. So, we'll go my Whimsicott here, because one, I'll be able to eat the Icy Wind that can come out from the Milotic. Two, I can potentially just set up Tailwind again, which wouldn't be too bad here. Let's see what my opponent's going to do here, as it will be no protects from either one. So, I could just actually just got Woodhammer off and probably just seal up the game. As Fang Scales, that does half to Milotic. Jeez, that's powerful. Thunder Punch. Icy Wind. Thunder Punch. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why is it Thunder Punch? <laughs> Does that mean you have superpower? That's the one fit that's the one drawback about this.
Okay, you have to knock out Calm One in order to uh, finish off the game. Um, I think I know what my game plan is because if Como goes down, it's fine. Because I think I can still win with my uh, Bulu, so I'm just gonna go for the. Just gonna go for my uh, protect here with Whimscott and Clang Scales here because of the fact that. You have to lock yourself in the move. Superpower is going to be that move. So it's going to knock out my Como. But I can't afford to lose Whimsicott right here. Because I can Encore the Blaziken into that Superpower here. So I feel like it's alright. As I see when it's going to come out. Which is fine. And now it's the question. Does my Lily protect or not? I guess that's the question. I can go Bulu here. And I will just encore to Blaze Blaziken and go for a Horn Leech. Yeah, I'm not sure if Superpower can knock out my Bulu after the recoil plus grassy terrain recovery. So we will lock in the Blaziken here with the Encore. No protect, so I should be able to win the game, it looks like. But let's see how much superpower does to uh Bulu. Yeah, it doesn't knock me out. But the problem is, I think it would have been able to knock me out after with the Grassy Train. So it really came down to the Milotic Protect. But I could have Encored my Milotic the next turn. So maybe my opponent was scared of that. But I am able to finish off the Milotic. Uh, that could have actually been really close. But I didn't want like my opponent expecting me to Encore Horn Leech the Blaziken. And then my Milotic going for the Ice Human. Because that would have secured the game for my opponent. So there was two different ways I could have lost that game. And luckily, I was able to call the right option of Milotic not protecting here. As, yeah, that, that should be game. Yeah. Well, actually, no. There's one way I can see my opponent winning, and that's... Uh, I'll say it after. I'll say it after. Well, actually, there was a way for my opponent to win. It was actually going for a crit superpower and a Bulu, because... Uh, I think once Encore, I think once Encore ends, even if I Encore you again, Superpower, Superpower doesn't have too much PP, and I don't think you struggle without the Disable. I think once um, Encore is finished up, well, once your Power Points are struggle are used up, you, you're no longer locked into Encore, so you could have uh, just Flare Blist and was caught to win. So my, so I think my opponent actually did have a chance coming back, but now looking back at it, it was probably not the smartest idea to sack my Gengar early on. I'm used to sacking off my Gengar early on from 2015. It's it was like a lot a really big thing about my playstyle. I sacked Gengar pretty early to get my setups in, but the problem is when I'm using Como, I'm not exactly uh, getting the knockouts, so it can be sometimes troublesome. As Gengar, Clefairy, Bisharp. Oh, Bisharp's that's annoying. Bisharp, Tapu Koko, Landris Varian, Como, and yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, sure. I do need Tailwind up in this game, 100%. Uh, Bulu looks really good here, but it's also really awkward. <sighs> also, Clefairy is also troublesome because redirection means I can't beat up my Terrakion right away. Huh. There's a lot of there's a lot I want to bring, but not enough room. And also, probably my opponent has a lot of options. I think you have to bring Coco. You have to bring Gengar. I assume maybe you could bring your entire team, and I can too. But the problem is, how do I beat this? I think I want to go Whimsicott Gengar once again. I'm just so used to this lead. <sighs> Uh, do I drop Terrakion? Because Terrakion might not be able to sweep this game. I don't think I'll be able to get my Z-Move off in this game. Yeah, let's actually go with Bulu. The reason I want to go Bulu is because I can take care of the Tapu Koko. Like, Tapu Koko plus Gengar is really scary, I feel like, in an endgame scenario. So, I don't want that to happen. Let's see what's going to go, because one of my opponent's Mega Gengar is a huge threat to my team. That Pokemon's an absolute monster to deal with. So let's see what's going to happen here. As Gengar Bishop's going to leave. Okay. Um... Protect from Gengar is really obvious. The question is, do I want to risk a Gengar turn one? Because I kind of want to risk a Gengar turn one. I 
at the same time... Yeah, I'll risk the Gengar turn one. No, I don't think you double up Whimsicott, though. The reason I don't think you double up Whimsicott is that would give me a free ability to... The problem with that is you give me a free ability to basically... Set up with Como if you double up Whimsicott and I protect Tailwind, so... I wonder what my opponent's gonna do. I do want to Encore Disable, I feel like, the Gengar the following turn, and then maybe Disable that Sucker Punch that the Bishop can carry. Let's see here. There are multiple options my opponent has, and these don't look good for me. So we will protect here. Pretty sure at least a Sludge Bomb will go on in the Whimsicott slot, but we will get a guaranteed Tailwind up. Let's see what my opponent goes for. It wasn't a Sucker Punch. Sludge Bomb does come out into the Whimsicott. Poison actually would be pretty good here. So, Sash. And Iron Head. So, yeah, it was a double. So, I could have actually knocked out my opponent's Gengar, which is a little bit unfortunate, yet not too big of a deal. Because now I can set up with my Como here. I'll set up with my Como here. So, now I'm in the position where Como can do a lot of work here. So, I'm going to go for my Z move because it breaks a Sash or anything. I don't know if you're going to Sucker Punch or anything like that, though. I really just want to go back in the Bulu right here, because even though I'm probably going to knock at the... Because, one, I already trapped these Pokemon in, so my opponent can't prevent me from getting the Z-move off and getting my stats off. But I want to save Gengar, because Gengar could be useful for later, because I do not want to I don't want to lose my Gengar here if my opponent goes for knockoff, Shadow Ball, Double Target. It's Sucker Punch actually coming out. Okay, that works. Z-move knock out Gengar, though. That's the question. I don't know if it knocks out Gengar, but I will go for my Z-move here. That didn't do that much to either one of my opponent's Pokemon than I expected. Like, those took it a lot better than I expected. Sludge Bomb. <sighs> okay, good, 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 good. I thought that was targeting down my Bulu, and I'm like, no way, you made that read? Okay, that works. I could sub here. I could also just go for Clang skills. Uh, this is weird because if I Clang skills, maybe Clang skills Woodhammer wouldn't be a bad play into Bisharp. The problem is, uh, the problem is Gengar could switch out into Coco. Bisharp could protect. I'm in a pin situation the following turn. Uh, let's try it though. Alright, they stay in a bow, so I'm going to be able to knock out both Pokemon. Alright, that works. Wow, that actually knocked out Bisharp right away. Wow, I underestimated Boob. I thought Bisharp... Doesn't Bisharp have decent defenses? Which is why I kind of went for that. Uh, double up. But instead, I could just flamethrower the Gengar, potentially. And yeah, that could have worked, too. So, Gengar is going to go down. And what's coming out? Coco Como? I'm really surprised my opponent didn't switch out. See what's coming out. Or protect Gengar at least. Komal does come out. And Tapu Koko. Hmm. They're tailing up. I wonder if we're going to try to stall it out. I do want to go for sub Woodhammer here. I'll go for sub and Woodhammer here. Although you could be Specs Coco, since you're probably not Z-Move Coco. You know what? I don't see a reason not to Flamethrower Woodhammer. Yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah, okay. Because I'm kind of sure it specs Coco on this team to help with the Como setup. So I'm going to be able to knock out Coco. Flamethrower might be able to knock out my... Uh, Flamethrower might be able to knock out my Bulu though. It's still going to be a close game. Oh, what? That's not how it works, buddy. <laughs> Did my opponent expect the Gengar switch from the Bulu? I think my opponent tried to make the aggressive play. My opponent thought I was going to go into Gengar and try to reset the grassy terrain so Como can survive. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't have a reason to. I always beat Coco anyway. 
Yeah, and that's a hundred percent game now. Because now you can't set up. <laughs> Alright. Match is gonna be forfeit. We do take a win there. <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I don't think I feel like that's such an unnecessary Z move though. Like you don't have to Z move there. I guess maybe my opponent thought it was his only chance to get back into the game, but I mean flamethrower knocked up could have knocked up Bulu after the Woodhammer recoil, and that's what I was thinking my opponent was trying to do. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh this team's doing some work. Alright, I like it. Let's see if we can get a win for the last game. Wow. I'm really surprised my opponent's even there because I really didn't think I needed to switch out the Wimps guy. I mean, it makes sense you could expect that, but I don't feel like it's the most mandatory thing I have to do as ah, Mimikyu. Mimikyu's a, Mimikyu's a difficult, difficult Pokemon to handle with this team for sure. Oh, Mimikyu's difficult. All right, I want to approach this. I can't break Mimikyu. That's actually re that's really bad. Who would I expect you to bring? Milotic, Lucario, Mimikyu, Camera? I could see maybe. I don't think you bring Musharna in this. Well, you could bring Musharna, but I don't think you would. want to go maybe Gengar Bulu Gengar and Cinnabar is the lead yeah no you did this this is awkward. this is gonna be awkward uh I think I'm gonna go Gengar and Cinnabar here Terrakion is not gonna be able to do much I think Bulu and Como the problem is if I bring Bulu which I kind of need I need it Oh, and also the fact if you lead uh, Milotic. Milotic Mimikyu actually just screws me over. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hard one. Mimikyu is actually really hard to break through with this team. Well, if it's Tricker. And most of them are. So, this is going to be a difficult one. Well, I should have led... Uh, I think I should have led Boo. Lucario and Musharna. Wait, that gives me a chance. You follow me with Lucario here. Yeah. You follow me with Lucario, in my opinion. You can't. I don't think you find no Gambit here. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out Musharna and disable the Lucario. Because if you follow, you should follow me here technically. Because you don't. Because Because if I fake out Shadow Ball into knockoff Shadow Ball, there's nothing you can do here. Oh, helping hand. Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize that option. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not Scarf. Oh, Sash. And my Incinar drop turn one. Oh, that was not the turn I was expecting. Although, uh... Uh, if it's Sash, I don't think your final Gambit. Because I feel like... I don't think Close Combat would knock out Sinroar without attack investment. I'm gonna go Como. I'm gonna go Como, and I think I'm gonna Shadow Ball the Musharna slot on the Follow Me. So I can maybe stall out some turns to Trick Room. Yeah, I'm gonna sub. You have to follow me here if you're my opponent. And I don't think you're max. No, what? would you be max HP max attack Lucario with Sash? Because they tend to run either Sash or yeah. So follow me. That's all right. That's definitely a trade I'll take. There's all Shadow Ball here. I'll be able to get a sub up. The question is how I'm going to solve this trick or Because I'm not exactly too sure. Sash does 
is revealed here. I will get a sub up. And Mashana, I'm guessing Z-Trick from here. Or shout out Psyche, but if you shout out Psyche, I'm actually in a fantastic position. I think you have to your force to Z-Trick him. Yep. Psychic knockout Gengar? I guess that's a question. Lucario can't switch out. I could double protect just to scout what my opponent's going to do here. Since my opponent is trapped in. So yeah. I'll go for the scout. What my opponent's going to do here. Because since you're trapped in, Lucario is basically... Unless you final... Ooh. That would actually be a really smart play if you have it. Final Gambit, you own Musharna. So you can switch out. That'd be a really good play. Let's see. Do you do it? But, uh, would you have Final Gambit if you're... I don't know what Cario this is. Just follow me. Okay. And what's coming up for the Musharna? Just a Psychic? And a Gengar? Oh, and a Como. Do I want to risk my Gengar is my question. I mean... If I can keep my sub up, that'd be great. And I wish I disabled the Musharna. Let me think here. If I lose Mimic, if I lose Gengar, how'd I deal with Mimic you? Actually, no. I think it's a risk I'm willing to take. Follow me. Gonna come out again. Let's see here. Psychic. Probably not cool. Uh, maybe sub was the correct, pl uh, sub disable? Yeah, I guess sub disable could have worked too. Because I could have stalled another trick room, double protect again. That did a lot more to Musharna than I expected. Oh, that's a crit, that's why. Well, the crit doesn't really matter because Shadow Ball was going to knock it out anyway. I might need a double protect. I might need a double protect with specifically the... Actually, I might not even need a double protect to win. Will I? High possibility, but I think I could still win without the double protect. Let's find out. MQ plus camera up, I'm guessing. If it's anything else, uh, it's really fa fascinating. Camera up should be me. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna look at what you're gonna lock yourself into. Mimikyu can Source Dance here. I don't think it changes too much anyway. I don't think it, I don't think Source Dance will change too much anyway. And I feel like it should be a backup Trick Room Setter just in case. So my plan is to protect Como, protect Gengar. Hope my opponent's keen on Earth Power because if you Heat Wave here, I'm in a lot of tr well Heat Wave the next turn. I'm in a lot of trouble, but I have to try to get Bulu in. I think. Actually, let me see here. Double protect. If we saw our sands, we're gonna have a interesting time. Earth power. Sword stance. Ah, okay, it is sword stance. I really wanted a flame dart there. I think I need to flame throw to mimic you. I think I actually need to sack my Como here, which is absolutely strange here. I really wish I went for the hard flame thrower. I just wasn't sure if it was Sword Dance or not. Mm. So I'll go Bulu here on Earth Power. But if my opponent was just trying to get the Bulu to come in and go for a Heat Wave here, very solid play. Because so that's what I would probably do. Yeah, very solid play for my But I need a double protect with Como. Well, they play rough misses for some reason. Good on Como. Which matters if he, I think, if he went for Shadow Claw, but otherwise, yeah, play rough. Good game to my opponent. Hmm. 
So turn one really didn't go how I expected at all. I think I needed to adjust because helping hand was just a blank. Helping hand close combat. And that was kind of on the back of my mind, but when I thought it was Scarf Lucar, I thought, okay, they don't run attack vestment. I don't think it would knock out anyway, but it just knocked out because it's a sash with max attack variant. So definitely uh, caught me off guard here. I'm going to play it out for information in case I play my opponent again. Let's find out. Do you have the Shadow Sneak? But very nice eruption play from my opponent's part. That for sure was excellent from my opponent's part. I guess you're going to go for Trick and Earth Power. Which makes sense. Right. Oh, Shadow Claw. Okay, you don't have Shadow Sneak. Okay. So good game to my opponent. Really well played by my opponent's part. I... There were definitely some plays that I could definitely made better. Um... Maybe I should have switched. I don't know. I don't feel like I should switch out Incineroar there because Incineroar is actually in a decent position. Maybe if I Shadow Balled... If I just Shadow Balled the Musharna originally. Because then I could just Z-Moot. And Shadow Ball to Lucario. And then even Mimikyu comes... Well, if Mimikyu comes out and Camerup's next to it. Like, you could easily set up Chirkin because I don't have... Actually, no. I could uh, Flanter or Shadow Ball to Mimikyu and that should probably get it. Mimikyu's don't usually carry Protect anyway. So maybe there were some outs that I did have. But I didn't exploit them. And the turn one definitely didn't go as well as I would have liked. But very nicely played for my opponent's part. The Eruption play was excellent on my opponent's part as well. Hmm. If I had a chance, I think, and also I just realized the other plays that I could have uh, played better if it was, if I anticipated the Sword Dance, I should have went for the Flamethrower into the Mimikyu that turn because that could have gave me an out, but it really comes down to does Gengar live Eruption because if Gengar doesn't live Eruption, then no matter what, it was pointless of what I did there anyway because I get knocked out with K Gengar if I, I get knocked out with Bulu, but if, um... If Gengar does live Eruption, I should have just uh, Shadow Balled right there and stayed in. And if you... Yeah, that's basically what I need to do. And and if you go for Earth Power and I get Bulu in... Well, maybe I also need to double protect Como too. I was basically going on a play Rough Mist there. But maybe I should have went for a double protect too because that could have also gave me an out. But the problem was I didn't want Bulu next to Como because if Bulu was next to Como... Bulu's faster, so I don't get the wood hammer off. I get the wood hammer into the disguise. And it doesn't knock out Camera and Camera can easily protect and Trick Room could go off and then yeah, not exactly the best position I want with my Bulu. So yeah, hmm. Think about that. Maybe EV the Bulu to be slower than Como could be an interesting option too. I gotta consider that. But very well played from my opponent's part. We go 2-1 to today's episode. Hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VDC 2018 Backs with Vows. If you did, leave a like down below. Show us your support as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below, such as my social medias and the side series on the channel, as well as the previous episodes of VDC 2018 Backs with Vows if you have missed them. You can also check out the Q not QR code. I keep saying that the pay spin of this team as well technically the showdown import whatever you want to call it down below in the description as well and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say other than feel free to leave a comment down below i do read them and that's pretty much it have a great day people until we battle again i'll catch you all later